Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel because it is a motivation for me and uh, I can upload more videos like that. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about measurement. What is measurement? Measurement means measuring something. Okay, so we will give a definition that is comparing an unknown quantity quantity with non quantity with the non quantity okay that means that is measurement that means if you want to measure the mass of a substance, what you have to do? You have to take it as a beam balance that is in the shop. In the one side of the beam balance, you will keep some 1 kg weight like a metal piece and you 1 kg or something else you will keep. Okay, other side you will keep your, subs your uh, watt object you need to measure. If 1 kg is more, you will change that weights. So what you are doing? You have to be comparing. Okay, that's why we are call it as measurement. It is the comparing of known quantity with the unknown quantity. Clear? Okay. Now we will study it about measurement of length. In this chapter, mainly we are going to study it about measurement of length, measurement of mass, and measurement of time. Okay. Now we are going to study it about measurement of length. Measurement of length. So what is length? Length means distance between two points. Okay, distance between two points we will call it as length. So, how we will measure the length? Okay, so the length is to be measured by using direct method and uh, indirect method. Okay. So, first one is what? Direct method. Direct method means by using any device we will measure it. Okay. So, the distance from 10 power minus 5 meter to 10 power 2 meter length is to be measured by using direct method. That means by using some device. That is we are using what are the devices? We are using meter scale we are using meter scale it is to be measured from what is the least count of the meter scale 1 millimeter okay that is 10 power minus 3 meter to 10 power 2 meter can be measured by using meter scale and second one is vernier caliper vernier calipers Vernier calipers, the least count is to be from is to be 10 power minus 4 meter. Okay, that is 0 0.1 millimeter. While you also measure by using vernier caliper, and another one we are using that is screw gauge. Screw gauge, its least count is 10 power 5 meter minus 5 meter, that is 0 0.01 millimeter can be possible to be measured normally from 10 power of minus 5 meter to 50 millimeter okay that is a screw gauge similar least count another device also there spherometer okay this is about the direct method next we will study about indirect method indirect method that means if the distance is less than 10 power 5, minus 5 meter and greater than 10 power minus 10 power 2 meter we are using the indirect method there are so many methods are to be there triangular method parallax method sonar method radar method laser method so in that very few only we have to know it is very simple so first we will see about the triangular method triangular method 
triangular method is normally used for finding the height of a tall object like a building like a tree or something else okay so now we will consider there is a what happened there is a tower was there okay this is the tower was there okay we need to find out this height of this tower okay this is the h height okay so there is an observer he is at uh, this point b is the observer this observer is how much distance x distance from it okay that we can be measure okay so from this we will find out this observer is view this from this from this point he will view up to this end from that they will calculate the angle theta okay so this is a right angle triangle for this right angle triangle what about tan theta tan theta is equal to what you will get opposite side by opposite side by adjacent side that is h by x what we need to find out if the height or we need to find out so h is equal what you will get x into tan theta okay so this is a this is a triangular method okay next we are to be using about a laser method okay we are to be using laser method okay and in the laser method we we need to find out the distance between the two object that means i need to there is an there is an object is there okay we need to find out this distance from this so there is a laser pulse from this by using a device will send the laser pulse from here okay so we need to calculate this distance we need to calculate s yes, we need to calculate it so from this they will send a laser pulse from here and uh, it will be strike out here and it is reflected back okay that time means to be calculated okay how much time it is to be calculated so we know what is the velocity of this laser pulses here by using laser laser light we are using okay so we know velocity is equal to what velocity is equal to distance divided by time so distance is how much time it is calculated so two time it is calculated because the time we are getting the time is to be from here to here and it is to be repelled and we are calculating from the sending time and it is coming back time okay so if c is the velocity and s what you will get velocity into time if c is the velocity into time divided by 2 this we can use okay so in the laser pulse method we are using the laser pulses another methods are there radar method in the radar method what we are using is that the radar signals we are to be sending okay that is the micro waves we are to be sending okay then by using the same formula here we will be use the here we will use the micro wave speed and the sonar method in the sonar method sound we are to be sending clear okay that is about indirect method one important indirect method is our parallax method that we'll discuss now next video we'll discuss about parallax method thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like